That's the cell deviation ticking down slowly. The pack voltage is ticking up slowly. Just about the amp trickling in. And all of the cells now are above 3.4. The last three sleepy cells have ticked up over the 3.4. So it'll be quite quick from now onwards, I would have thought. Now that they're into the steep, 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 steep part of the charge curve. So, very, very good. Certainly is the quickest and easiest and safest and laziest way of top balancing a pack is just find the Goldilocks zone and keep wandering up, poking the buttons, disappearing, wandering up, poking some buttons, disappearing. You know, you know so much easier than building up a parallel pack, having a little battery pack sitting for weeks probably to charge it up and then to break it all down again to build it all back up again into series yeah no, this is by far the easiest and laziest way with, with brilliant results via the JK BMS's so hopefully by the time the morning comes we'll all be all be lovely jubbly when I'm awake in the middle of the night, I'll, uh, I'll uh, give it a wee poke and see what the state of play is like. Because you never know, I might be able to give it a poke and tickle it up a little bit higher. If need be, but don't want to stress them out too, hot, too much. But I'm not going to go right up into the 3.65 volts per cell, that's unnecessary. It just unnecessary pain and discomfort for the cells so be a bit of moderation if that's the right word be a bit modest in moderation we'll have it in moderation I'll be gentle on them one of the two <laughs> right good night for now <coughs> so it's uh Five in the morning and check that out so 5 a.m oh pardon me uh three millivolts uh 5.3.525 everything's glued together absolutely lovely i thought that the, that the overall pack voltage would be higher The, uh, the inverter is still sort of floating and doing its thing, but I had set it higher than what it's at at the moment. Uh, so the north side, the right, the right side, excuse me, everything's nicely glued together now. Seven millivolts of deviation. Everything, at the, uh, everything again is at the 5.25. 3.525. Five two five. Sorry, it's too early. <laughs> so, yes, you can. Certainly, looks like you can skip a top balance, a parallel top balance, and just tweak your way up. Um, I'm going to discharge a little bit, and not much. I just want to trick the inverter into going back into bulk mode and then into float mode um, I think it's got stuck in its absorption mode uh, I was expecting the voltages to be slightly higher but it's not a disaster we're still right up there um, so I'm just going to take a little tiny tiny bit off the top and uh, charge it back up at uh, a higher higher amps to see what the balance is like. Cool. So I nipped in and burnt a little bit off for just a minute, a minute or two whilst I made a coffee. Um, so it shouldn't take too long for the, uh, the cells to charge back up. 
um, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what you idiot. Oh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if my inverter um, slows down again because it's almost as if. Excuse me a minute. It's almost as if it goes. No, there's too much back pressure. You nearly fall. Calm yourself down. Just turn the juice up a little bit. Uh, turn it up to 30 amps, so it should be 15 a side. There we go. Um, the float voltage was set to 57.4, which is 3.6 per cell. So it'll be interesting to show you the inverter slowing down and tapering off before it reaches float voltage. It kind of works its way up to the float voltage instead of hitting bulk voltage, going into absorption phase and then a float. It sort of absorbs up to float voltage, if you know what I mean. All will become clear, hopefully. So we're already up, already up into the 3.43. So it won't be long, hopefully. I know this is boring TV, and please excuse me sniffing a little bit. I think I might have caught the plague a little bit sniffly this morning. That's low. So that's 3.45 so that's that uh, over the balance start voltage threshold and we're at six millivolts naughty cell number nine on the left hand side that's nicely into nicely into shape <coughs> excuse me for oh, hiccups as well full house this side the voltage is higher already for 3.48 7 millivolts deviation 3.48 3.48 yeah 3.48 this side that's how quickly the voltage is arising now there you go the um the amps are tapering down already And we're at what 56 volts and the amperage is already starting to tail off so really there's one and a half volts to go 1.4 volts 1.3 volts to go until i reach the float so the current is already tapering off it's not going to go steaming straight up to 3.6 volts with the maximum pressure, the maximum bulk charging voltage, stressing things out, it's going to work its way absorbing gently up to the float voltage. Which is quite good for idiot proofing. That's the balancing just kicked in at 11 millivolts at 3.52 volts. So, yes, you can do a top balance just using the JK BMSs. I think this has been quite quite successful. Certainly been easiest and laziest. <clears throat> so, that was five minutes of waffling in a, in a screen recording. That goes quickly. <clears throat> That's the inverter still tickling down.
inverters reading 56.7 this is reading 56.4 Starting to really slow down now. So it'll take quite a long time to get up there and reach flow voltage. See, so I mean, that's quite cool as a little safety measure. It, the inverter must know that the, the battery cells are really full. The electrons are having a hard time finding their little parking space in the matrix, the internal structure. So it just takes the pressure off. Because when we're up this high in the this high in the uh, in the charge curve, there's there's nothing much to gain by going very very high in the voltages. So it's going to take a while. Nothing's run away. It's looking nice and balanced. So all good. So I'm I'm being naughty and a little bit reckless. <laughs> I've just trimmed. I've just burnt a little bit of energy off of the battery right at the top not long just a couple of minutes of the oven being on um i've tweaked the inverter settings up now to 58.4 bulk which is the 3.65 volts per cell and 58 volts float which is 3.625 volts per cell tricking the inverter again into going into its bulk absorption float modes. So here we go. I want to turn the charge current up as well. <laughs> here it goes, it's ticking up. Well I'm warming up, warming up, warming up. The reason why I'm doing this is it still seems to have stalled and it's going to take a month of Sundays to get at those settings. It would have taken a month of Sundays to get past 56.4 volts, which was about 3.53 volts per cell. And it was just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. So for demonstration purposes, I've turned everything up to the maximum. Already the um, the charge current's dropping off, and all the cells are rising quickly. Everything's nicely together still. Six millivolts of de ten millivolts of deviation on the right side, which was the naughty side. The left, which was always best. Thirteen millivolts of deviation, fifty-six volts. And the current's tapering off. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this current and if I can actually get past the uh, the mythical glass wall of 56.4 volts. I'd just like to see maybe 3.575 as an absolute maximum. Yeah, well, I'm top ba I am balanced. That is the very, very top I'm willing to go sort of thing but we'll see how it goes <clears throat> do, do, do. can't believe that's three minutes already so in three minutes we're already up to the 3.52 there's the current tapering right back off again fan slowing down
Isn't it strange? 56.4 again and it's slowing right down. Well, I've double checked and there's no other settings in there that would be that would be restricting it down to the 56. Well, it's 56.7 on the inverter indicated. So there's still that 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a, of a delta difference between the readouts. So it's flicking the 56.6, 56.7 on the inverter, 56.4 on the JK BMSs. I definitely seem to hit a glass ceiling at the absorption phase with this inverter. It's different to the grey inverter that I had, the cheap Chinese generic grey inverter that I had. That would go right up to bulk voltage and then go into absorption. Whereas this seems to sort of hit a glass ceiling and take for absolutely ever. So what I've done is I'm being naughty. I've put my little I've put my little um, 5 amp power supply on just to satisfy my own curiosity to get up to 3.6 volts. The power supply has only been on for a couple of minutes um, and already with the voltage is, is shooting right up. So there's absolutely nothing much capacity wise. Um, to absorb uh, the power supply has just started to tick down so I might give that a little tickle um, so that's that's that at the moment um, I'm gonna call it in a minute as absorbed and balanced because you can see there that there's still only six millivolts deviation on that one and 8 millivolts of deviation on that one 57.2 volts so nearly there so in a matter of a few minutes that's us nearly at the 3.6 volts per cell Just about to tick over, maybe cell 11. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go, 11's over. Oh. 11 just dipped a toe into 3.6. So it was to satisfy my own curiosity that there is actually and the amps are tailing off on the power supply so I just satisfy my own curiosity that there's nothing wrong with the the battery pack or the inverter we are so 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 very close to full there we go I've got an over I've got an overcell voltage protect because I set the limit to 3.6 so that's us full at the 3.6 and with the same this side we're just kissing the 3.6 so I'm going to call this as charged and balanced because we are seven eight millivolts on the left hand side and 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 seven millivolts on the left hand side so in a matter of minutes the the power supply um got me up to the 3.6 so if i was just to be more patient 
with the big blue inverter, um, then it, I'm, I'm confident that it would have absorbed fully given time and reached the float voltage. But I haven't got the patience for that. And I've got a stack of washing to get on with. <laughs> going to need to tweak the recovery voltage because I'm never going to I'm never going to reach the recovery voltage um, at this moment in time. So I've just cheated the oversell protection voltage recovery. Um, I've set that right, right close to the 3.95 um, to get everything to 3.6. Otherwise, would be uh, would never reach recovery voltage. This one's just dinged out. Come on, turn back on. So it did recover and turn back on, so that's cool. I'll just get everything up to the 3.6 and then I am calling it a day. So in the course of probably 10, 15 minutes, um, that is everything over 3.6. I had to tweak the over protection up to uh, 3.61. Um, that's it just dinged again, 3.61. So I'm going to call this as... Fully charged, fully absorbed. There is absolutely no point in going any higher than that. You're talking a matter of a few handfuls of watts. So in this this side, <coughs> everything's 3.6. So and again, everything's nicely balanced. So I'm going to call that. I'm going to call this as fully charged as well. Little tickle on the power supply. And I'll get this to ding off of the rev limiter at 6.1. And then I'm going to call it a day. There we go. So this one is now full as a full thing on a very full day. So I'm going to call that. I'm not going to push it any higher than this. Two millivolts of cell deviation. Four millivolts of deviation. So my power supply absolutely maxed out is 300 watts. So over the it would have taken me over an hour, like an hour to use 300 watts put 300 watts into the battery i've been the matter of 15 20 minutes if i'm generous um so yeah probably talking about 100 watt out 100 watt hours ish into the battery from where the inverter stalled at the float voltage to me absolutely maxing out with the power supply so i hope that makes sense that there's absolutely bugger all up this end of the charge curve from 3.55 to 3.61 there's absolutely bugger all to worry about 
there's no need to there's no need to push it any higher so calling it charged absorbed balanced happy time to do some washing <laughs> hey i'll catch you in a bit happy days <laughs>